Hey, good morning, guys. It's John Phillips. It's Monday morning. Check this out so I know what day it is. That's pretty badass for a blind guy. It's Monday morning at 9.17 a.m. on January 9th, 2023. Yeah, it blocks my speedometer, but that doesn't work anyway, so not a big deal. I think it's better that I know what day it is, and I'll be honest. I don't usually know what the date is. But anyways, what I'm gonna do today is I've got a customer who has, I've got a customer t who has some old Moen Chateau shower valves, a uh, tub and shower and a shower valve. And he wanted to upgrade the trim on it. And, um, it's the mowing with the two screws at the bottom, the very old Chateau. So what they sell is a, a bracket, this right here. It's part number 145058. And uh, it allows you to put mowing troll trim on to an old shower valve. It'll give you, once you screw this in place, it gives you the two two holes that you need to screw the new plate on. See those little, I keep chain, uh, anyways, it's these. And that one will allow you to put the new trim on. And uh, this is the part number again. And uh, I need to go pick up two of them. I like to keep one on my truck or two. Um, I've used them. You know, in the past, when you get a trim that's just totally shot, you can throw a new uh, mowing troll trim. But, uh, so I'm going to go finish up this little job I did for this guy. Put a new kitchen sink faucet. Uh, did some other work, cartridges. And um, now I need to put two lavatory. He went to oil rub bronze or black. Um, so I need to put two lavatories in and get these showers trimmed out. He just needs a head. I mean, he doesn't need the head because he's got the shower, uh, handheld shower, so he needs a a black uh, arm and flange for both tub and showers. And uh, I'm gonna put that new trim on, but I, I'll tell you what I bought. And it's uh, it's Danco. If I was gonna buy mowing, it would have cost 600 bucks a piece, according to my salesman. You know that guy who bends over backwards to help me out. But anyways, this is this is Danco's trim, and you can see that it's for mowing, single handle mowing troll and posi temp. You can use it for both. Uh, they've got a couple adapters on it, but uh, you know Danco, that's not bad stuff, and. Uh, It'll get you through. They know they know where things are needed in the market, and they produce it, and they sell it cheap. I think these were like sixty nine bucks, man, uh, as opposed to six hundred and a ten dollar shipping fee from my wonderful supplier. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, the the phone rings all the time, so I have no idea what I'm going to get into. I cleaned my truck up today, I mean yesterday, and realized that I left my mowing box on a job for that old guy. I helped him change out his posi temp cartridge. I left my mowing box there, man. That thing's going to have $1,000 worth of shit in it. Thank God he's an honest guy. <clears throat> he actually called me up and told me that I left it there but I never got the message I just drove out there and come to find out he did call me to tell me it was it was uh, at his house so there's still good people in the world honesty is the uh, best policy and uh, do unto others as you would have them do unto you I'm not sure that's the actual quote but close enough anyways let's see what we can get into today guys it's always interesting. I cut my hair today. Little fucking butcher job. Yeah. Hat day. All right. Hey, 
Hey guys, I just uh, I saw that uh, Steve Lav got his new truck, which is very cool. Nice truck. Everybody's got their own uh, needs and desires when it comes to trucks. Uh, for him, I think that safety concerns. Uh, not, like my truck has a bunch of bins on the outside, and I I live in a place where I'm not really worried about people stealing my shit. And uh, but you know, I lived up north, and you had to lock your fucking truck every time you got out of it, and that works for him. You know, that's a nice, beautiful truck. He got a good deal on it. It is uh, due diligence. He shopped around, and uh, I'm happy for him. He's going to have a problem-free next five or ten years as long as he does, you know, the routine, normal maintenance on it. But uh, I'm happy for him. And, uh, you know, like Mikey Pipes, he buys trucks where parking's an issue in New York. And you can't have a 16 or 20 foot long truck going to make your job pretty difficult and uh, so the type of truck you buy really has a lot to do with your surroundings, uh, your circumstances and uh, Steve made the right move and he got what he needed, what he needs to work out of and more power to him man, I hope it all works out great for him, he's a good guy and uh, I've learned a lot from him. So I helped this, I put a kitchen sink in for this guy, I don't know, five, six months ago, and he called me saying there's some couple leaks under here. So we're gonna check it out. Call back. Or not. Hello. How are you, John? Doing well, my friend. I am videotaping. Do you remember? You remember the house? Yes, I do. You remember me? I remember your comedies. Yes, my comedy. <laughs> I threw it in for free. <laughs> See here. So what's going on here is the water flows from here and then you see here we put comes out of the bottom of the garbage disposal. I don't know so where it is coming from, but it's dripping from there too. Okay. Let's take a peek. You may need a new garbage oh, disposal. Is it? See then you know you see some dro water drops here already? Yep. Yeah, you can check it out. You want me to remove that too? No, I'll get in there. It was just light on. I do not know what's going on. So I was, I was trying to Ouch. figure it out myself. And then... Yeah, man, you need a new garbage disposal. It'll be my guest. Let me go get a light because my my spotlight's not working. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Do me a favor, sir. Can you turn that on? Where's the switch? Right here? Uh -huh. Yep. Dripping right out of the bottom of the garbage disposal, my friend. Uh, the you pipes. Nope. Okay. You need a new garbage disposal. Oh. Lucky for you, they're on special today. From there. From where? Mm -hmm. From me. Oh. <laughs> the hell do you think I'm? From some other plumbing company. Okay, I thought it's from some retail stores or something. Okay, how much no. does it Hang on, let me go get a light and just confirm that, okay? Okay. I'm gonna turn this. Seven years, you know? How old is that? Five. Yeah, well, there you go. Alright, so we got a drippy garbage disposal. Dripping right out of the out of the bottom of it this guy all right so i got the same one badger five and sinkerator best garbage disposal out there mm -hmm. so you have charged this for 250 dollars 275 
Now, 275 is my price. No, I don't do them for 250, man. I said 250 to you. Well, that was last year's price. You said 250. It's 2020. What's the date? 23, my friend. You said 250. Can I show you on camera? Uh, yeah. Look at this guy. He's tighter than a. He's always trying to get me, man. <laughs> trying to get some extra money out of me. He's tight, man. You said 250 10 minutes before. You give me 250 cash, I'll do it for you. 250, I can pay to you by. Uh, I don't have cash at all. Uh, do you want to pay by PayPal? Do you, do you want to get it through that? PayPal? Uh -huh. I don't have a PayPal. Oh, do you account. have. Uh, what is that called? Mm -hmm. And Chase that they have, right? Um, Chase? I don't like to chase people for my money. All right. <laughs> No, Let me I, get your garbage disposal, man. Okay. So I will pay it to you. Okay. How much do you think to, it will cost to replace the whole uh, toilet uh, uh, sink? The lavatory in your bathroom? Mm -hmm. I, I to, gotta look at it. Yeah, give me a code. I, I'm planning to replace because it's all old. Um, and, uh, tell me something that flushes like you know like more force or something it's yeah let me just see what you got first yeah. and then you know what i did i called some other plumbing company they gave me a code for thousand dollars yeah for replacing this uh, flush toilet flush system i said let me do it myself i did it myself but it's good for nothing is i'm looking for someone who can up i can afford it you're looking for somebody to do it cheap not just cheap. say it, man. Not cheap. I want something affordable. I I hear you. I'm kidding with you, man. See, this thing I can't do it myself. Some certain things I cannot do. Certain things I can try. Uh, what do you do for work, bud? I, I work for a company called Deloitte. I work from home. Now I have a meeting at ten. Uh oh. So you trying to tell me to hurry up and get out of here? No, no, no. Okay, so where's your dishwasher drain? Oh, right there, okay. when you have the flange, guys. man
fucking eyes are shot. You got good eyes, my friend? Mm -hmm. So go watch and make good. Want to help you? No, I don't need you to help. Um, thanks for the offer, but you know, you are paying me to do it. Here's your new wrench. Hey, bud. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to use this wrench? Look. See this? Mm -hmm. It goes right in the dead center. There's a socket for this wrench. A bit center, okay. Yeah, dead center. Uh -huh. And if it ever seizes up on you mm -hmm. or jams, put this wrench in there and spin it like that to free it up. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a circuit breaker. Mm -hmm. In the back here, it's a red button. Mm -hmm. If that pops out mm -hmm. and you're not getting any humming or anything when you turn it on, mm -hmm. you need to reset that breaker. But make sure you, you, you uh, loosen it up first. Mm -hmm. Then you can eliminate me coming over here and okay. blessing you with my presence. Okay. Okay. That was another joke. It don't, it just land like a lead balloon. Okay, okay. now it's no longer drip, right? No longer dripping. <sighs> okay, let's fill her up. This is my worker on solution. For there last you go. <laughs> <laughs> this mine or yours? That's mine. Okay. I used to keep it beneath and use this aluminum tray to collect the water every day. That's my responsibility. There you go. Catch the leaks. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. All right, guys, that was a quick change out. Uh, when I put this sink in, I put a brand new flange in on this for this guy. He had an old one, but he had a new sink, so I put a new flange on for him and uh, put a new basket strainer in. Um, so we should be good here. Just gotta fill it up. Fill it up and run it. Make sure everything's good. Hey guys, I'm all done with this garbage disposal, but this guy, he's 
he's perfected the art of fucking tight wad. So he's like, hey John, I've got one more thing I want you to look at. So I go up, his aerator, his toilet. First, it was the aerator in the, in the lavatory on the first floor. So I pulled the fucking flow restrictor out, clean the aerator, and he's happy as shit. Like I solved all the world's problems. Then he says, I have one more thing to look at. And uh, he tells me his toilet's not flushing right. So he's got a three inch flapper Gerber toilet. It should be fine. I adjusted the water level, tightened up the chain on the flapper. That's all good. Then he says, John, I got one more thing for you to look at. And I said, okay. So we go upstairs and uh, the two labs and the master need, need the same thing. Clean the aerators out and remove the flow restrictors. So I did that. And then I, I took one step out of that bathroom and I could hear him thinking about it. He's like, John, I've got one more thing, man. I said, dude, what am I look like a fucking nonprofit over here? Anyways, I ended up taking the, uh, cleaning all five aerators, adjusting his toilet on the cuff. You know what I'm saying? For nothing. But I'm happy to help him, man. I got nothing better to do, you know? Just fucking chilling. Just chilling, man. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this. And my man, he likes me. He's a character. I like him too and his family, his wife. And he tried to give me some Indian food. I said, I don't like curry, man. Hey guys, I'm heading to my next call. Uh, guy called, he said he's he's got a replacement or a warranty water heater. And uh, I don't know what's left on it, but he said it's just not heating water. He said he pushes the reset button, uh, the ECO on the upper thermostat, and it doesn't, doesn't do anything. So, and then he said it's doing it, it's doing it all over again. And I'm thinking there may be a bigger issue going on at his house. Uh, if that's the same problem he was having with the first heater, it's probably got to do with his house somewhere. So I'm gonna go up there and check it out. Uh, see if he's got a, a blown uh, element and uh, test it out see what's going on try to repair it if not uh, he's probably at the end of the road on the on the warranty on that first heater so we'll see what we can find All right, guys. So I'm I'm good, bud. I'll fi I'll try to figure out what's going on here. Okay. This is a replacement water heater. Uh, this is a commercial grade uh, A O Smith. Probably because you don't have any, have any idea how many gallons this is. Like 40. See, it's a forty, That's and it's big. that big. Wow, it looks a lot bigger than a forty to me, but I could be wrong. Let me see down here. That's ten. It's a 50. Okay. Yeah, it's a 50 gallon, but we got a lot of corrosion on this, um, on this face plate. I mean, on the access panel and the insulation. Uh, it's just corrosion. It's not uh, like, a, it looks almost like something was burning, but it isn't, it's just corrosion. So he said, he, you can see the ECO is popped up there. And uh, so I need to, You've got this thing set pretty high too, my friend. It's up to like 140, 150 degrees, man. With no means, when they put this new one in, they took out the thermal expansion tank and he has no means, again, of dealing with thermal expansion. Uh, so I'm gonna have, he's gonna have to get another tank put in there. I have one on my truck, I'm gonna go ahead and install it give them a price but first i want to check this thing out electrically the 
Where that fork horn? Okay, I'll go look at that. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Holy guacamole. Yeah, these are some mambo fucking backflows, man. The blue one's for the, the potable water to the house. The red one's fire main. Uh, I just want to check this thing electrically. It's an A.O. Smith. I don't, you know, they got weird thermostats and kind of a pain. I don't stock that stuff. Sir, you got this water turned way up for some reason, is there? I turned it up and down. To okay. Try to see if it would reset. Okay, because it's set right now at like a hundred and Yeah. I turned it all the way down 30. then all the way up then okay. all the way back down. Alright. Or back down. Uh, I'm fine. just gonna leave this open. You yell for me if I need you. Yeah. Okay. So is the breaker off right now? Uh no, not that. That one should be on, and this breaker, my grandfather taught me, I'll just check it yourself. Uh, yeah. Two up, one, two, three, four. Should be this one, water heater. And then to the dryer and dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. 15, 13, 15, 13. Okay. All right, so I can't work with that. Two forty eight. Two forty eight. The east. This thing is reset. Wow. A little really crusty, man. I don't like AO Smith water heaters, man. down here Your upper element, the upper element is shot. I'm trying to get the screw off and the whole element's turning inside. I got you. So I'm gonna test that. It's obvious it's no good, but uh, 
So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and get this set up so I can pull this out. I'm just going to snip that wire cuz I don't want it to blow up on me, you know, like come out under this All right, guys. So I'm going to I'm going to try to change this element without uh without removing the uh I mean without draining it down. So I'm going to go ahead and I've got the water off let it out in the house try to get this thing under a vacuum all right so it's under a vacuum right now close the bottom drain valve Go ahead and ohms test this. I don't know if that thing you can see that this one's shot, but I want to ohms test this other uh, element on the bottom. I'm sure it's good. It looks good, but I think I may change it. I don't like this insulation the way it is on these AO Smiths, to be honest. That's good. That's a good element. I'm going to cut some of this insulation away. I don't like how it's so close, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that one. So I've got them both set at the same temperature, which is how they come from the factory. So that's what I try to do. Some people say the upper one should be a little higher. All right, so I'm gonna test this. Should hear it cooking. And I can. Should have power to this upper element on a cold cold heater yeah we got 245 volts so that's cooking I'm going to it's ice cold so I need to let that cook for a minute but what I need to do is I, I also need to put an expansion tank in for this guy uh, whoever put this heater in for him took the expansion tank out so I'm gonna put a new one in and uh, go from there so I'm gonna dress this uh, expansion tank out right here in the back of my truck Do anything about it. Fucking guy next door, I worked for him. 
Maybe that's how this guy found out about me. I don't know. But what a gorgeous fucking day today is, guys. One of my one of my New Year's resolutions is to control the fucking stress, man. Yeah. Alright guys, so I need to figure out how much pressure is in this house. Forty pounds. So that tank comes pre-charged at forty pounds. So I'm gonna leave it right where it is. I'm gonna there was already a strap here. Not the nicest thing, but that's pretty rigid. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to put a T here. Uh, maybe up top. I think I'm going to put it right here. It'd just be easier to lift it up and then come out right into the top. Alright. Alright guys. So I'm going to cut this T in. Just come straight over. Thinking about the next guy, really, who's probably gonna be me. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna cut this T in here. It's just gonna be easier to lift this up and So guys, I, I want to, I probably said it already, but thanks to everybody, I I made that uh, 1,000 subscribers, and uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, it's a long road getting there, I guess. I'm not sure what the average is, but I'm happy I made it, and uh, thank all of you for watching. Try to... Uh, improve constantly uh, with with YouTube just like I do with anything I do always striving to do better you know so like I said I'm thinking about the next guy so I'm gonna put enough on the top of this 
so that somebody can cut that other tank out and By eye plumbing. We do it nice because we do it twice. That's the old saying, boys. We do it nice because we do it twice. You know, the, the instructions on these tanks say you can really hang them anywhere. From what I understand, upside down, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna put it so that the writing's in the right uh, position. Just looks a little, you know, people aren't gonna look at it and say, what the fuck, it's upside down. Doesn't take that much effort. <sighs> so that was great that the pressure in this building is exactly 40 PSI. That's always subject to change, you know. I mean, these, this tank's gonna work. Uh, I mean, you could come back tomorrow and the pressure could be 50 or it could be 35. So it's basically just finding out what it is when you're there and uh, installing the tank. Make sure the pressure's correct. So that's it, guys. I'm just gonna let that set up for a few. The glue. I want to make sure this, this water heater, I turned it on. It seems like it's working properly. So I've given my compadres plenty of pipe to work with. Uh, you know, it would be easy to pump that thing up. Easy to check it, easy to reinstall a new one. So that's the idea. That little piece right there is going to give you three or four changes of this tank before you have to do anything and you got plenty of room here too. So plenty of room on this riser. So we're good. All right, so we're all done here, guys. This thing's back together. It's working. I can hear it cooking. Yep. So we're all done. It took me an hour to do it. Got here at 11.30, it's 12.30. Replace the element. Uh, put a new expansion tank on. The key is to have all that shit, you know? It was I gotta go back shit. and get it. Who I gotta re reload, man. Saying I don't know when I'll be coming back again. Some fucking Bob Dylan, boys. Woo, yeah. All right, man, that's it for this one. Johnny Phillips signing off. We'll catch you on the next one.
at all this new construction, man. Crazy. Commercial, residential, multifamily, multi-use, uh, restaurants everywhere. This is a nice area, University Parkway. Uh, lots of restaurants, stores. Beautiful place, guys. If you ever consider moving to Florida, think about Sarasota. It's a different vibe from the other side. You know, it's more laid back on the west coast, I think, than than the east coast of Florida. It just uh, got a different feel about it. Anyways, all right. Hey, yo. Can you see that? You know what that means? Quit time. 